What up, everybody? Instructor Beats back again here with another Science of Exponents lesson. Today, we are learning about the negative exponent rule. So without further ado, let's take a look at our objective today. Our objective today. Today, you will be able to solve this crazy problem right here. Today, you'll be able to solve exponents when the exponent is negative. So last lesson we did when the base was negative. Today, we're looking at what you do when the exponent is negative. And to understand what to do, we need to go to the math lab. So to understand what we need to do, we need to understand what a negative sign means. So if you go all the way back to our integers lesson, we learned that a negative sign really just means the opposite, right? So a negative seven is really just the opposite of positive seven, right? If you are subtracting from something, you're doing the opposite of addition. So if we think about the negative sign as the opposite, this makes a lot of sense because what does this exponent tell us to do, right? Well, it tells us to take the base, which is two, and if you would really start with one, and then you're gonna multiply that one by three copies of two, right? An exponent is repeated multiplication. We learned about that in our introduction to exponent lessons. Well, what does the negative sign mean then? Well, it means the opposite. So what would be the opposite of multiplying this one by three copies of two? Well, the inverse operation or the opposite of multiplication is division. So instead of multiplying this one by three copies of two, we are going to divide a one by three copies of two. That's what this negative exponent tells us to do. It tells us to divide by the copies of two instead of multiply, right? So if you did this right here, obviously that would be eight in standard form. And if you do this, this would be one eighth. And hopefully you can see we just made the reciprocal of eight. This is called our negative exponent rule, right? Anytime your exponent is negative, that means you are going to do the opposite of multiplying, which is dividing. And the shortcut of doing that is taking the reciprocal of the positive exponent, right? So just like we saw right there, if this was a two and this was a three, right? My answer in standard form would be eight. Well, if this was a negative three, my answer is gonna be the reciprocal of that, which is one eighth. And again, that's the shortcut, but it's important to realize what you're doing. When you have a negative exponent, that means do the opposite of multiplying by those copies and divide by those copies, which is what a fraction really is. So let's go back to the lab and take a look at some patterns that we can see. So let me go ahead and write these in expanded form and the right standard form real quick. So we see five squared is 25, which you probably know, five raised to the first power is five, and then five raised to the zero power would really just be one, right? We have other videos on that if you need to watch that. Now we have five raised to the negative one, right? So instead of multiplying this one by one copy of five, like we did up here, because the negative sign tells us to do the opposite, we are going to divide that by one copy of five, right? Which really gives us one fifth, which is the reciprocal of five. So five squared, if you're using the shortcut, you know that the standard form should be the reciprocal of 25, so it should be 1 25th. But why does that work? Well, instead of multiplying this one by two copies of five, we are really dividing it by two copies of five, which when you write that would just be one over five squared, which we know is 1 25th, okay? Now hopefully you also see the pattern. Because you're multiplying by one less five each time, every time you go down a power, your standard form will be divided by five, right? 25 divided by five is five. Five divided by five is one. One divided by five would be one fifth. And one fifth divided by five would be one twenty-fifth. Okay, so there's also the patterns that we see when we talk about exponents. So if you kept going, five raised to the negative third power would be one twenty-fifth, one twenty-fifth divided by five, right? Which should be one over 125. So you can use patterns to help you understand this, 
Or you can think about this negative sign really being the opposite, which in the case of exponents tells us to divide by those copies of five instead of multiply. All right, that's probably clear as mud. So let's go ahead and do a U try problem. So if you're new to instruct what you can do is you're gonna pause the video, you're gonna try these problems, you're gonna write each exponential form in expanded form and then in standard form, and then push play to check your answers. So go ahead and pause it and then push play when you're done. All right, so hopefully you just pause it. So here we have three to the fifth power, right? Which we know is just gonna be three times three times three times three. And really you're always starting with one, but a lot of times you don't write that and that's okay. So when I multiply all these out, three to the fifth power is going to be 243. So here I see I'm doing three to the negative fifth power. So if I'm using my shortcut knowledge, I know that my answer should be the reciprocal of three to the fifth power. So it should be really one over 243. But let's go through the process, which really means you're doing one divided by three to the fifth power, right? And so when you look at that in expanded form, that's really gonna be one divided by three times three times three times three times three. I guess I should make that fraction a little bit bigger. And of course, when you solve that, that's gonna be one over 243. All right, let's take a look at this next one. Uh, this one, hopefully you know, six squared, right? Really just means six times six. Really you're starting with that one and then multiplying by two copies of six, which is going to be 36. Again, if you're following the shortcut, you know this answer should be one over 36. But let's take a look at the expanded form. Six raised to a negative two power really means we're doing one divided by six squared. And so when you write that in expanded form, it'd be one divided by six times six, which of course, when you solve it, is one over 36. So hopefully you got those correct. If not, it's okay to fail as long as you learn from it. You can rewind, rewatch the video. You can even Google it. We don't care as long as you are learning math. So again, thank you so much for checking us out today. We know there's lots of different options online and we appreciate you choosing Instructabeats. Please check out our merchandise, which you can find at instructabeats.com. We'd love to have you subscribe. Join our Instructabeats family. Please like, comment on the video. Let us know where you're watching from. Again, thank you so much. Instructabeats, out.